where do new viruses come from? And how do they end up infecting humans for the first time? Most species of animal, including humans, are host to a wide range of viruses. Sometimes, viruses make a jump from an animal to a human. Usually, these do not infect us as we are too different. But very occasionally, a virus that jumps does infect a human. This is called a spillover event. When a disease from an animal infects a human, it's called a zoonosis. Rabies is a zoonosis, usually spread from domestic dogs to humans. If a person is bitten by a dog with rabies and doesn't quickly receive a post-bite vaccination, rabies is almost always fatal. Bird flu is another zoonosis. This virus can spread from domestic poultry to humans. We can catch it from a chicken's saliva or feces, if we breathe in airborne particles of the chicken's excretions, or from handling raw chicken meat. Usually, this type of bird flu isn't very good at transmitting from person to person. However, if it does become easily transmissible, it could cause a flu pandemic. All human flus are likely to have originally come from birds. Often viruses don't come directly to us from their normal host, but pass through another species in between. Flying fox bats are the natural host of the Nipah virus. In 1998, flying foxes ate mangoes planted above pig farms in Malaysia. The flying foxes spat out the mango pulp, which the pigs underneath then ate. Some of the pigs developed a strange cough. People who had direct contact with sick pigs or their tissues also then got the Nipah virus, which is very dangerous to people. As the forests where flying foxes' foods naturally occur are destroyed, the chance of them looking for food near human settlements increases. Worldwide, the likelihood of spillover events like these has been going up, as humans destroy the habitats of wildlife and intensively farm animals for agriculture. This results in more opportunities for a virus to jump from animals to humans. <laughs>